G'day, my name is Sanjay Van Kandasamy, Clinical Senior Lecturer of Orthodontics School of Dentistry at the University of Western Australia. I'm here to give you a brief summary of our paper which will be published in the October issue of the AJODO. The paper is titled Condylar Position Assessed by Magnetic Resonance Imaging Following Various Bite Registrations. My co-authors are Rudolf Bodinghaus and S.T. Kruger. We've been debating about the relationship between condylar position, occlusion, and temporomandibular disorders in dentistry for more than a century. A big part of the debate involves establishing some sort of coincidence between a specific definition of centric relation and centric occlusion. Many nephrologists believe that failure to achieve this position with it will predispose patients to developing TMD in the future. Orthodontic nephrologists especially believe that by using this particular centric relation bite registration called a Roth power centric bite, they can actually position their condyles in an anterior superior centric relation position within the glenoid fossa. There is, however, no scientific evidence to support this view. So we wanted to know whether we could actually see condyles in certain positions within the fossa. So we carried out a study whereby the condylar position was assessed on 19 subjects using MRIs with three common bite registrations. Centric occlusion, which is maximum intercaspation, retruded centric relation whereby we applied a distal pressure at the chin allowing us to guide the mandible back, and of course the Roth power centric bite. All of the subjects were in their permanent dentition with positive over jets and over bites, and they all were free of TMD, asymmetries, craniofacial anomalies, functional shifts, and no history of trauma. We took MRI scans of each bite registration in place so that there was three MRI scans per subject. A head and neck radiologist then assessed the data and was blinded as to which bite registration he was assessing. Measurements were then made of the anterior, posterior and superior inferior position of the condyles with respect to certain anatomical landmarks. So what did we find? Basically, the differences between all three bite registrations were not only small, but highly variable. It basically means that the posterior condylar positioning associated with the retruded centric relation bite registration and the anterior superior condylar positioning associated with the Roth power centric bite registration simply doesn't occur. The bottom line is that we simply cannot accurately predict and position condyles in certain locations within the fossae. So those who think they are positioning condyles before or during their orthodontic treatment with various centric relation bite registrations for reasons of either providing better diagnoses or treatment outcomes or even preventing TMD are not only fooling themselves but also providing a gross disservice to their patients. I encourage you to read our paper in its entirety and I thank you for taking the time to listen to our summary.